Hey guys, it's Mike White with Xcart Guru. I'm going to do a quick Photoshop tutorial for you guys. Uh, it's come to my attention recently that I know quite a lot about Photoshop, and I should be probably sharing that knowledge as well. Uh, and I'm going to actually focus on Photoshop tasks that we have to do in the e-commerce world to assist us with selling our products and managing our product images, uh, or even creating product images. So I'm going to keep it on uh, subject in that regards. But uh, today we have an interesting problem. We have a, I have a friend of mine that wants to resize all of his images, and he's previously been displaying his product images 250 pixels wide. Well, now he's got a little more space because of a new template, a new design, and he wants to make them 300 pixels wide. So we all, you know, obviously have to ditch the 250 pixel uh, images because they're too small, and if we blow them up, then it's going to, uh, you know, cause blurriness or fuzziness. But we're going to go back to his source images. He has the detailed images still. And just resize them in a batch process so that they all target his new image size. And I think this will help quite a bit. So uh, first of all, I've made a, a folder like I like to do for my project. And I've made a subfolder shrunk. That's where our destination images are going to go. Here's our source images. We have these five HD wallpapers. They're all 1920 by 1200. And I want them all to be uh, 960 pixels wide when I'm done. So uh, in this example, we have a mix of image names. So they don't have to be in a certain sequence. They don't have to be named the same. And we're not going to use the uh, normal batch process of Photoshop to save them to a new folder. We're actually going to put that right in the macro we're going to record. So the first step is to open one of these images up in Photoshop. So we'll just open this with Photoshop. OK, and I already have the Actions tab up. You, if you don't see it, you want to go to Window and then Actions. And I've actually resized it. It comes out real small. You know, Drag it out so you can see what you're looking at. So I'm assuming you're not familiar with this uh, Actions tab. It's not a big deal. It's got a lot of default actions that come uh, with Photoshop. You can create a new action. Uh, and then record, play, stop actions. Okay, and actions can really be anything that you want to do to an image uh, in Photoshop. Watermarking, anything like that, uh, you can do it with a process like this. So let's get started. We're going to just click on Create New Action, and we're going to name it Resize 1920-960. Okay, and we hit Record. Uh, set is default actions. You can create new sets and have many sets of actions. I uh, don't need a function key. I don't want to be able to hit a short key and do this. I just want it to run on a batch process. All right, let's record. Okay, so now we just perform the actions that we want to uh, take. So uh, here I have one of my images. And I'm just going to hit image size until at 960. I'm making sure constrained proportions is on. And hit OK. And now I'm going to save it. File save for web and devices. Uh, 80 is a good, you know, maybe 70 because it's such a big image. And that'll save us some, uh, some space. 960 by 600 pixels, great. Save. Where are we going to save it? It's already taking me to shrunk. That's the, the subfolder that I want to save it in. Uh, it's right inside my folder. It's the one I created. And I'm going to hit save. Now we just need to stop recording the macro. All right, so we have now record, we created this resize 1920 by 960, and you can see it has two, uh, I guess, sub actions that are performed. You know, it has image size, and then it has the export. Okay, and it's it's recording the path and everything where it's going to export the quality. You know, it's all been all been recorded. Okay, so now we want to run our batch. First, I'm going to go clean out the shrunk folder. I don't want anything in there, and I just saved something in there to, to get the pump prime, so to speak. So now I, I just have an empty shrunk folder. And I don't need to see this anymore. Let's go to File, Automate, Batch. And the set we're working from is Default Actions. The action's already selected for me, resize 1920-960. The source is a, a folder, 
and I've already got the folder selected because I tested this before I recorded the tutorial. Uh, and then there's, you know, Photoshop tutorial. So that's what I'm, that's my folder that I have all my images in. And there's the shrunk folder it's going to head to. Okay, so um, I don't want to set anything here. I don't want to include subfolders. That would be a big mistake here. Uh, override action open commands. Don't need to do that. We didn't open anything in our action. And our destination, a lot of times it's either set to save and close or folder. But in our case, it's none because the process that it's going to go through is actually going to be the destination. Uh, errors stop for errors. Okay. Let's just hit OK. And here it's just opening each one of the images and has resized them and most likely exported them. Let's look in our shrunk folder and see what we got. There they are. And they're 960 by 600. So we've just uh, batch processed these five images. Now I want to point out that you know this technique, you know, maybe it would be better improved by a save and close action so that Photoshop clears out its memory and doesn't continue to open images. I mean, you want to do this within reason. I would do it on uh, you know a hundred images at first, and then maybe five hundred images, but you know scale it up. Don't just try to uh, shove ten thousand images through that sucker all at once. And remember how much time you're saving by processing like this. I mean, you don't have to do each one. So you can divide them up into chunks of 100 and have it be a reasonable task now that you can accomplish in 30 minutes rather than what it was, ever was going to be before, which is probably like six hours. Okay, well, I hope that's been helpful. It's my first Photoshop tutorial. Hooray. Uh, and I hope that you guys learned a lot. And you'll stick around and see me again uh, sometime soon. Mike White signing off, wishing you good luck with all your e-commerce efforts. Talk to you later.